What is going on everyone and welcome back to Black Desert. So it's been a while since I recorded some gameplay. I have been just like AFK fishing and doing other stuff lately. But anyway, um, we got a few things to do today. That's what we're going to be uh, doing. We have a few scrolls. Um, there's an event going on right now uh, where if you just play and log on, you can collect rewards for like five hours and I just leave my game on pretty much all night and AFK fish. So, yeah, we got to do a few quests. We're going to be going into camera a little bit later, but probably after we get some things done. So, first of all, we got a hard... You get one hard and like five uh, black crystals daily, so you kind of just uh, turn them in for concentrated stones and then you use them. I've been seeing more on the market. That's always good because I, I like to buy them. We got to do our beer delivery thingy for today, so I, we pick that up. I just have to craft them in the station. Oh yeah, I forgot. Since I left mine on all night, I literally just uh, switched over. Got to feed my workers. I think three hundred will be fine. Oh my goodness, everything. Nothing's working. 220. You'd be surprised at how fast beer goes when uh, you have a lot of my workers nowadays. Close. I know there are people with more, that's but that's pretty crazy, actually. <laughs> Alright, so... I don't know how much to bring, I guess. 250. Um... I don't think I have extra water or anything on me, so... Oh, I do. Water. Oh, whatever I have is not enough. Yeah, anyway, I hope you guys are still enjoying this series so far. Um, I enjoy playing it, but I don't know what there is to do that you guys would be interested in this game, because I think at this point it's more just upgrading gear and that comes slowly. And, yeah, if you have any recommendations, feel free to let me know. Uh, 200. Oh, yeah, I had this little box thing you got that I got from the Black Spirit uh, thingy. I don't know if it's good, though. It's kind of one of those things you just kind of get. Okay. Alright, so let's craft some beers. We do this every day because it gives us a free, like, 5 million silver. I have a beer, or, uh, what is it? Let me just put on, a uh, costume real quick. Huh. Alright, anyway. Five of these. I can't see, I wish it didn't glow. <laughs> um... Six of these. To be honest, all my beer, like, all my cooking levels have been from crafting beers. Where did the other things go? I know I bought some. So yeah, the thing I have to upgrade next is um, my helmet, which is going to be the Gaia Helm. Still haven't been lucky enough to get it, unfortunately, but hopefully one day. So we just have to craft the beers, get the five thingies, and then we'll make it. I have 110 of those seep seals that I gotta turn into boxes. But yeah, while we're cooking beers, let's uh, check the marketplace for thingies. I kind of do this when I wake up anyway, see if there's anything being sold. I am actually um, in the progress of gearing a striker. Just because it's... I'm not really good at it, but I enjoy playing it. So, in terms of the gauntlet, I have the main weapon. I got a Zarka box from the boss, and that's good, so I don't have to look for that. In terms of the sub weapon, um, I don't know what's good. I think probably like 
one of these, like a Rosar or something. In terms of the striker weapon, I think it gives you one at 56 just for uh, finishing Awakening. And then if I actually do switch it up, oh, boss Rakoan. Let me see. Sweet. All right, so after you finish cooking these, um, we'll get the Zarka box, or do the Zarka boss. All right, just give me five more beers quick. So we are playing at in the mid-afternoon, and that means usually it takes a little bit longer for bosses to spawn, or like, people to kill the boss, unfortunately. Let me get this quest done first, though. I don't know when this event ends, so I'm probably going to have to make sure. I think it's middle of uh, October for the event, so if you haven't been doing it, you should probably do it. It's free money. Just have to make sure I get the uh, five coupons. Even if you don't do them all like the same day, as long as you get the five coupons Being from the reward. Being a professional in something requires one's utmost effort. Alright, so let's go to Zarka real quick. Um, I think I have all my gear on. Oh yeah, guys, did you see? I think I told you, but I'm starting to upgrade my gear for, like, uh, my horse. Because that's pretty good. It's kind of expensive, actually. Like, overall, it costed me about 100 mil trying to upgrade stuff. But, to be honest, I think it was worth it, because I do notice a little bit of a speed bonus, at least a double XL. Like, I bought my tier 8 horse on a video at one point, so it was like 100-something mil- oh. And then, getting all the plus 10 gear is another, like, 20 mil each. So I think I spent, like, about 200 mil, plus, uh, I have to take the time to rechange some of the skills. Which, uh, costed me a bit. So I have a feeling that this boss is going to die slowly because it's a Monday and things just die slowly in the middle of the day when everyone's at work. So let's see. Hopefully it doesn't take like 20 minutes, but if it does, so be it. I think Zarka is always worth doing. Um, alrighty then. Man, there are not a lot of people here as expected. I would say Zarka dies in about like four minutes or so. Oh my goodness. That's safe, right? I'm not like fully awake yet, so I might make a lot of mistakes now.
Why is it only going for me? Usually it turns around. I need to take out some pots as well. I heard that actually in the near future they're gonna come out with this new pearl shop item called like some sort of tent and it's essentially a mobile repair station where you can sell stuff. I think uh, from what people said like it makes the maids worthless but then again some of the other people in Korea who said it or have it say made just feel good. This is kind of why I also hate bossing during the afternoon. When no one's home because each boss takes like 20 minutes, and then in the rush hour evening time, it's bosses die at like six. Not really sure how I got hit by that. I was behind the boss. In terms of the Cama Sylvia stuff, I actually have been enjoying the scenery of it. People say it's not really that great, but Cama Sylvia Part 2, hopefully coming out in a few months, is pretty good. Uh, like there's gonna be a lot of grind spots and everything, but um, part one, which we have right now on North American servers, is difficult. It's like from what I how I can explain camo part one is it's really difficult with the low reward return. So I like doing the story; you get some good stuff, but that's about it. I don't think like any good grinding spots or anything. You know eventually my goal in this game is to get like 500 energy. That would be really cool. Just by doing everything in the game. Man, some of the things are tedious. I think I found most of the NPCs in this game. So, all I have to do now is like, discover, well, I think I discovered most of the things too in this area, so I just have like a few more energy, but everything else would be like, doing the tedious things. numbingly attacking the boss. This boss is, I would consider, one of the easiest. Because it's literally... 
Stand behind the boss. Whereas like things like Karanda actually have mechanics, this one doesn't. Probably gonna do the uh, shout again. His health bar is moving down slowly but surely. I still don't know what it means. You see one of the Zarka health bar? When it turns yellow compared to white, I'm not sure what that actually means. Like right now, it'll be a silverish white, but sometimes it turns yellow. Yeah, after this boss, I think I'm done bossing for until like evening or something. When Zarka takes this long to kill, you know he's kind of bad. So. Probably gonna like do the shout thingy at like three percent. So pretty much the way you notice is when he's uh, he like raises his hands and then it spins and stuff. Almost dead. 
You know it would be nice if I got something good. This. Actually, I would be happy even with a Liberto. Or we can, you know, get anything. We can just get latent auras. That's one thing I found out as well. If you um, just escape from there, you're good. So let's see. I got one of those Shrine Guardian tokens. These don't sell for like anything. I've had so many at one point where I just start just melting them down. You can't sell them. Right, let me see. Since we fought a boss, though, I think the timer reset. So hopefully it's not still on cooldown. Cause I gotta turn in these beers and make some more for the Imperial. see if I'm still on cooldown I'll hold off but if I'm not then I'll just make some more let me see being a professional in something requires one's utmost effort all right so I can make them I just need to get some beers out of my storage real quick then we'll go to Belia and do the quest I think we can get 230 or 263 CP but I'm also pretty lazy so we shall see <laughs> Within yet allotted space, of course. Do I keep the crone stones here? I do. Um, I need four hundred and fifty beers. Deposit money. Deposit those. Beer back while it's cooking. three oh we got a bonus so there's like seven so we started with nine invoices it's not working boys we got four so we're gonna get ten that's like a five mil while we're doing that let's go I think we have one more I don't know when probably in another 37 minutes 30 okay huh I wish uh, dandelions were more available in the market I wish they had a higher drop rate What I'm still looking for now is a Tri Gaia Helm. I think I'm probably gonna have to just save up money and pre-order one because I'm not getting one from the scrolls. We actually do have a scroll today, so we have to do that one. Oh, we got a double proc today. Easy mill. Process the beer. All right, so that was the easy 5.5 mil. Good. Being a professional in something requires one's utmost effort. Look at my weight about to just go into negatives right now.
Awesome. Should probably do the quest in Heidel. Just get some easy CP while I'm here anyway. Money comes and goes. It's an imperial thing. <laughs> Currency. Since I'm probably going to have to swap this, I will buy that. And buy three of those. Warehouse. I need... these and 10 maple but yeah we're gonna go to Velia afterwards and do a few more things I still don't know where you can get an elephant from cuz I want one What is your name? If you tell me. I've just been getting lazy on the contribution points lately. I want to get at least 300, but also. I'm lazy. Alright, so let's see. Repair, repair crypt, inventory. Adventurers here. Wait, what is this? There's a mount XP event in progress. Why did I never hear about these things? Was it even on the patch notes? So does that mean mount training? I still don't understand mount training. What do I do with it? How do I level it? All I do is just, I don't think I do understand. It's by riding your horse or something. It's that good. I'm still actually trying to do the adventure journals for all the uh, areas, and that's how you get some more easy energy. Alright, actually, hold on, we have a scroll here. Maybe today will be a lucky day, and we get a guy at the helm from a scroll. Wouldn't that be nice? I do this every single day hoping for one. It's also the only way to get it too by doing the scrolls because there's no world boss or Gaia. Ooh, someone's selling a Zarka gauntlet. Another day, another no Gaia helm. So we gotta drop off more stuff 
in Velia that we get overnight, and then we're good to go. Oh god, lag. Welcome to Velia. Need to use the storage? I'll get hurt if you keep doing that. 178 mil. Jeez. I'm just kind of... You know what's bad is... I'm actually like... Kind of scared to use these because... If you look on the market for enchanting, like this is... This is how bad the NA market is. There's 54 of them. There's actually a lot of sharp harps uh, and hards. And then there's like no memory fragments. This is the only way to upgrade your gear by doing it yourself or all that stuff. But you just know it's bad when these sell out instantly. And you can barely buy any on the market. And this is how everyone upgrades their gear. You can keep more goods if you get a house in town and use it for storage. Alrighty, so... Breezy const... I still don't know what these do. I know these are for, um... Upgrading your... Horse. But... Not exactly sure how many of each you need. So I kind of just collect them by overnight fishing. Uh, why is my hand... Our town is peaceful. Have a pleasant stay. Oh, these are going down in price. Just admit it. I'm drowning on the food. A patient blacksmith. If you borrow a container from me, you can use the storage even at home. Oh yeah, let's melt this down, because I'm probably never going to be able to sell it anyway. If you lose We're just your getting stuff out of our inventory. Eventually lose um, yeah, sure, max price it. If you plan on crafting, you should leave your materials in the storage. I'll get hurt if you keep doing that. Do I have any silver in here? Silver or or is that the other bank? Not sure. 